Mayor. Can you do that okay. again, Mayor, right now? Uh, sorry, can I have a motion to come out of closed session, please? Yeah, make that motion. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Okay, thank you. Uh, so we, we were in closed session. This is still the caucus meeting. Um, we will get to the regular agenda momentarily. We do need to open to the public. Um, I make a motion, Mayor. Motion on the floor, Mayor. I'm sorry, we, to open to the public. Motion, motion on the floor, please. I'm motion, sorry, make, no, we're make following motion to open to the public. I have a second? Motion on the floor. I said it before you said that. You so weren't please. recognized by uh, the chair, sir. Mr. Wu, can we have a second? second. Motion on the floor. All in favor of opening to the public? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Mr. Diani, there okay. was a motion on the Thank floor you. before no, there was no motion. Motion. Sir, the public. Sir, we follow Robert's rules. You need to be recognized by the chair. I am the chair. We'll, check, we'll check the tape on that. Okay, we'll so check. we're open to the public now. Uh, if there's anyone from the public who wishes to be heard, please state your name um, and um, you're free to speak about whatever you wish. Um, you can virtually raise your hand or um, call out. Yes, I see a hand from um, individual named uh, MRJ. Yes, you are recognized, sir. Yes, hi, uh, Mayor uh, Kronjak. Uh, good to be able to talk to you and the whole uh, town tonight. I want to talk about something here. It's very Mr. Can you state? Can you just state your name and address for the yeah, record? Yeah, 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 absolutely. I'm Colonel Retired John Mills, and I'm from uh, Woodbridge, Virginia. And uh, so I, I thank you for uh, allowing me to, to uh, make some comments. So thank you for uh, your service, sir. Thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, Mayor. Thank you for your service and all the, the council members. Appreciate it. Um, so uh, did, did, I, did I do everything properly? Is it okay to proceed? Yes, sir. Okay. I want to talk about something that's tearing this country apart. Uh, this country, I've worked all over this the world, 30 plus years in national security. I've been all over the world. And yeah, our country's messed up. It's a, it's a mess. We got a lot of problems. And guess what? We're still better than anything out there. Anything. If you don't agree with that, go some, to some of these other places. We had a, wonder, a lot of wonderful, beautiful, lawful immigrants. They'll tell you first what a messed up country is. Yeah, we're messed up. We're still better than anything else. And that's why people want to come here. So let's talk about something here. This, this religion of critical race. This, this is not about reconciliation. This is about retribution. This is about grievance. This is about narcissism. This is talking, this is just people's base instinct to hate each other and hate this country. Nothing good comes out of this. This is based on just the, the, the vulgarest of people's sensibilities. Nothing good comes out of it. It's a shame, it's shameful. So critical race theory is about tearing each other apart. It's teaching people to hate each other and hate this country. Again, we're a mess and we got problems. And we're still better than anything else out there, anything. It's just disturbing that anybody would fall for this trap of critical race theory, Black Lives Matter. This is not about reconciliation. This is about retribution. This is about tearing down, taking away from. This is about totalitarianism. Totalitarianism. You think that's a good thing? Absolutely not. I've been in a lot of countries. I've seen what totalitarianism does. You have Welcome to Englewood Cliffs. Right, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> the mess. Thank People you. in Cuba right now are standing up for themselves. We need to stand with them. I hear a lot of silence out there on this topic. These people, you wanna talk about skin in the game. You wanna talk about survival. Go to some of these other countries. You think you have it bad here? It's a joke. It's a joke if you think you have it bad here. Yeah, it's not, yeah, there's things that are wrong. We're not perfect. There's injustice, but we have processes to address these civil processes, not tearing down, not getting ugly and mean, not becoming a mob. Mob is, should not exist in American society. 
education is a civil process. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, okay, so who, who's that talking here? Is it you just butting in here? What's going on? Sorry, um, the speaker can continue. Uh, Dr. Sacker, uh, respect the order. Uh, you can speak after. Just need to be recognized. And you know that, right? Okay, thank, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. Yeah, totalitarianism. That's where it's not about capitalism, it's about crony capitalism. That's where you really do, crony capitalism is corruption. And it's unfortunately that happens in some places in America. And it all happens a lot worse in some of these totalitarian countries. Again, back to Cuba. We need to stand with these people. Yeah, free healthcare, these people are starving. Yeah, free, you can get seen all right. You'll, you'll, get, you'll, get, um, you'll get attention, you won't get actual service. There's a difference, there's a difference. People of Venezuela, same thing. It's absolutely ridiculous. Free healthcare down there, they, these people are starving. That's a fake lie, just a lie of the government. It's a lie of totalitarian leaders. So if you wanna get, tear this country down and become that, well, I don't agree with that. And I stand against that. That's just ridiculous. You want to be ugly here, tear things down, get your way because you lost an election. That is just shameful. Can't believe you want to do something like that. Go to some of these countries. People are starving, starving. And you, you know, I, I want to help the poor in America and the poor in America live better than 95% of the rest of the world. Let's get real. This stuff about critical race, about Black Lives Matter, about Antifa. This is just about hate. It's about hate. Hating your, hating your neighbor, hating this country. We're the best thing that's ever been out there. Not perfect. Got a lot of problems. We're better than anything else that has ever existed. We're special, precious, and rare. So anybody wants to tear this down, you, you just a, a thug. All you want is your way and you don't care. You'll stuff the ballot box all day long and you don't care. That's not democracy. It's not a liberal democratic republic. That's just a mob. And that's one step closer to socialism and one step closer to totalitarianism. You're upset because you don't have your way. You've been paying off people. You've been paying off members of the legislative branch, executive branch, judicial branch, just because you want your development, it's shameful. How dare you throw your money around like that? Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, is anybody else from the public uh, wishing to be heard this evening? Thank you for your service to our country. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Couldn't do it without you. Couldn't, couldn't do it without your support. I remember the Vietnam veterans and what they went through. Some of you might be old enough to remember that. I remember that it was shameful. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Is there anyone else from the public who wishes to be heard? Hi, Maria Valari. Uh, thank you so much for that wonderful speech that you just gave. It's a breath of fresh air with what's going on in this country today. I'm an Italian immigrant. And I know why my parents brought us here at very young ages from Italy was to give us an opportunity to, to make it because this was the only place to make it. And it is a shame that so many people right now are on board with trying to destroy what this country was basically based on, which was having legal immigrants coming in, working hard, educating their children and hoping for a better life for them. And this is the only country where we can have this. And watching what's going on in Cuba, and I can't remember, I, I have a cold, so I haven't been feeling very well. And I heard somebody on the news, uh, I think it was today, earlier today, and they were talking about um, that if the Cuban refugees or Cuban people would come across the oceans that they would be stopped and they would be sent back because they are illegal immigrants. And I, I don't understand this, this thought that illegal immigrant applies to Cubans, but it doesn't apply to anybody else. And so I hope that uh, enough people wake up and realize what the educational system is doing 
to our country because it begins there. And crit critical race theory, um, I'm Italian. I've never had slaves. Um, you know, I, 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 I feel like we're going back to a time and we're judging people on a time that was what it was then, instead of basing it on what it is today. And I don't think people are systemically uh, racist. And uh, it's a shame that we're here. And I worry about our children because they're not being educated. They're not being taught history. Um, you know, my husband, my, my son is an attorney and he came home one day while he was in school, uh, I, when he, I, Fordham University. And he came home and he says, you know, mom, your parents did a better job raising you than you guys have done raising us. And maybe what he meant is, is that somehow along the way we kind of dropped the ball and we allowed the schools to just teach and not really check what the what the schools are doing and i think it's time that parents wake up go to the school board meetings voice their opinions and basically say my kid keep your hands off my children and i hope that that happens thank you thank you uh, for your comments as well uh, you know i i think um what would be best this evening at some point if um, a member of the council would uh, please make a motion uh, to support the Cuban people and democracy in Cuba. Um, I, I think we should show solidarity uh, with those very brave people. You know, it's interesting. Um, we see uh, our Senator Menendez and Booker and our Congressman uh, Pasquale, our Assemblyman uh, Johnson and, and Huddle, uh, and and they, all, they all speak about supporting people outside of this country, which is great. Meanwhile, uh, when it comes to our own country, they're trying to steal your property values from you, everybody. They're trying to shift your values to the developers whose lawyers are on this call right now, listening intently as they always do, so they, that they could have a windfall with your property values. So uh, I wish our elected officials, Menendez included, who has a very special relationship with Englewood Cliffs, that's all I'll say on that one, uh, would, would actually wake up and start representing his own people and just stop getting the, uh, the sound bites uh, over at MSNBC and, and other media outlets because um, he's not doing his job. He never did. And he, you, he didn't uh, get convicted um, when he was in trial twice. May you, uh, I would bring up that first. Um, well, Mr. Farrell, and I know you're, uh, yes. you, know, you and I are similarly situated because you came to America from, uh, from Cuba and I, my parents came to America from what was then a communist country. And mm -hmm. um, to reiterate the retired colonel's comments, uh, there is no better place in the world than America. And so many of our residents have come from uh, countries that were tot totalitarian dictatorships or communist countries. And I, I think it's important that we do send a message loud and clear, uh, you know, d despite what um, some, some members on council are um, infatuated with the UN and, and it's, um, you know, America for everyone, but nothing for America. Uh, OT. Um, uh, Mayor. I would like to make the motion, uh, Mayor. You want to make it right now? Please go ahead. So that would be a motion to support the Cuban people and democracy in Cuba. Very simple. Do I have a second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay, not, there's no opposition to that. Uh, so, so we will actually- Mayor, Can I make a motion now? May I make a motion? No, we're actually still in the public portion, but this flowed very well with what- oh, we you, you just made a motion, so yeah, may I make a motion? That, that just flowed very well. So as chair of the meeting, I don't recognize you or your motion right now. You could try it again later. But you just allowed else, someone else to make a motion. Is there anyone else from the public who wishes to be heard? Okay. I have a motion we're on gonna the floor. Close the, we're gonna close the public portion. Um, can you have a motion to close the public portion, please? Make the motion. Second. Second. Uh, and all in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Okay, we're gonna motion. go into our- I make a motion. Oh, sorry, I, I, make have a motion. Floor, sorry, I have the floor right now. I don't recognize you because we're following Robert's rules. I know they're somewhat arcane to you, but we are following Robert's rules. Uh, can I have a motion to adjourn the caucus meeting and then we will- um, Motion on the floor. I have a floor. motion. Make a motion to close. Can I have a second, please? Obviously you're afraid of my motion. Can I have a second, please? Second. Obviously okay. you're a chicken. All in favor? Aye. Okay, thank you. Uh, anyone opposed to closing the meeting, adjourning? 
Yes, me. Okay, there was one on opposition. I have a motion on the floor. Opposed. Motion There's on the floor. No motion on the floor because you haven't been recognized, sir. And name calling is not going to get you recognized. So, uh, um, Mr. Diani, okay. could you okay. wait on that floor, so, Mr. Diani? We're, we're going to take a break now. We're going to go into a um, uh, five minute break and then we're going to start our regular meeting. I thank the members of the public who spoke and um, I appreciate the council making that motion. I just need um, a quick five minute break and I'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you. 